Hello and welcome to our latest video from Everything Home. So you or your robotic lawnmower has cut your lawn beautifully, but what about those untouched wild grass edges? In this video we're going to unbox the Black & Decker 28cm 18V grass string trimmer, check out its features and see it in action. I'll tell you what my verdict is and whether every homeowner should seriously consider getting one. Just to let you know this is a completely honest review of this product which I bought myself via Amazon and I'm not being paid to promote it. Although Black & Decker, if you're watching, that would be nice. If you're here for the first time, you're very welcome. Please do subscribe to our channel to keep up with videos related to everything home. So let's check it out. So what's inside the box? When buying this product, you will get the main grass trimmer, the guard and an instruction booklet. As you can see, this is the bare unit, which does not come with a battery or charger. It was cheaper to buy this unit without the battery and charging units as they already have some Black & Decker 18 volt batteries and a charging unit. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video when I'll be sharing with you an extra money saving or earning tip which you should definitely consider before you decide to purchase your cordless grass trimmer. So this product comes largely assembled for you, all you need to do is charge the battery and fit the guard. Before fitting the guard, remove the battery from the grass trimmer. Never operate this device without guard firmly in place which is there to protect you from injury. To fit the guard, firstly remove the screw from the guard. Slide the guard on until you hear or feel it snap into place. The locking tab should fit into the housing slot. Use a Phillips screwdriver to insert the guard screw and tighten securely. Once the guard is installed, remove the covering from the line cutter blade. The battery should be fully charged before first use. Plug the charge into an appropriate socket outlet before inserting the battery pack. Once inserted, the green LED will flash indicating that the battery is being charged. Completion of the charge is indicated by the green LED remaining on continuously. The battery can be immediately used or left in the charger ready for later use. In my experience it takes around 60 to 90 minutes to achieve a full charge with a standard charger or 45 minutes with a fast charger. It is worth mentioning that the charger is designed to detect certain problems that can arise with battery packs. If the red LED flashes in the pattern scene it may indicate a weak or damaged battery in which case do not charge the battery and return it to the service centre. If a battery is excessively hot or cold, a red LED shown here will flash and the charger will automatically suspend the charge, restarting it when the battery pack is normalised. This feature ensures maximum battery life. This Black & Decker grass trimmer is feature packed and I'm going to go through some of these now. To start the grass trimmer, push the safety lock button and squeeze the trigger, which stops when released. It comes with two operating modes, Eco Function 1 and Turbo Function 2. As the name suggests, Eco will extend the operating time and is perfect for larger projects or gardens. Turbo will accelerate the trimmer and is best used to cut through heavier growth. The two operating modes can be changed by moving the switch up or down. The handle can be easily adjusted with just one hand and locks into place allowing additional control and better hold of the device. The height of the trimmer can be adjusted to achieve a comfortable operating position for each individual user. This can be done by loosening the height adjust collar by rotating it in the direction shown. The height can then be changed by moving the housing up or down, retightening the collar where the desired height is obtained. The edge wheel can be used to help set a distance from fixed objects such as this fence. This allows you to keep the edge of moving more easily compared to a traditional flower guard seen in my old device. You can simply swap between the standard trimming and edging application by twisting the pole to give the lawn borders a neat and tidy finish. To do this, grasp the flip edge collar as shown and push down. Rotate the flip to edge collar 180 degrees anti-clockwise until the handle snaps back into the upper half of the trimmer. To return to the original trimming position, just do the opposite. Thanks to the automatic feed system, the trimmer lets you focus on the job. Straightforward and intuitive to use, it detects when the string wears off or snaps and without interrupting cutting it will automatically feed new line in. Our back garden has a number of borders where our robotic lawnmower can't quite get close enough to and this leaves a small amount of grass on the edge. Speaking of robotic lawnmowers, if you want to find out more about them, 
how they work, common questions, and my top tips for any installation, check out my review of the McCulloch Rob S600 robotic lawnmower in the top right hand corner. This Black & Decker grass trimmer requires little maintenance, although it is recommended that grass and debris be regularly cleaned from the guard and ventilation slots to help it work efficiently. It is important for your safety that the battery pack is removed from the grass trimmer before any maintenance work is carried out. Once removed, cleaning of the guard can be easily done using a soft brush or blunt scraper. The ventilation slots can be cleaned using a soft brush or dry cloth. Having used this Black & Decker cordless grass trimmer for a number of months, I think it is a fantastic piece of kit and I'm going to go through some of the pros and cons now. So let's start with the positives. This trimmer is so well balanced and lightweight which is great to just grab it and go. It will also be a great option for those who might struggle with a heavier petrol grass trimmer or those who would be at risk of falling over a corded device such as the elderly. I found the trim and edge system so easy to use and swap between standard trimming and using the edging guide wheel. Having two operating modes means that I can decide how much battery juice is used up. On average, I was able to use the grass trimmer for around 30 to 35 minutes on eco mode and around 20 to 25 minutes on turbo. Although to date, I haven't run out of charge. The 18 volt batteries can be used with other Black & Decker devices such as the hedge trimmer or drill, which means that whilst you're using one battery, another can be charging, allowing you largely uninterrupted use for the most domestic jobs. Now for an extra tip, if you're thinking of buying this brilliant device, click on the link in the description box below and see which is the best way for you to get it. It may be cheaper for you to buy the bare unit, which comes with no battery or charger, if you already have extra batteries and a charger from another Black & Decker device. Alternatively, you could buy it with the battery and charger, and if not required, see if selling the battery and charger on separately may bag you some money. The prices change all the time, so see what works for you. You'd be surprised. So, are there any negatives? I think if you have a lot of heavy growth or a wilderness you need to get through, then a usually more powerful petrol grass trimmer may be for you. However, the turbo mode does aim to bridge that gap. My overall rating would be 9 out of 10 for this device, which offers a lightweight, reliable and inexpensive way to trim your grass. I would certainly recommend the Black & Decker 28cm cordless grass trimmer to others and buy another one should the need arise. If you found this video useful, please do take time to like it and subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. Thanks for watching, see you next time.